Warning, this video contains sexually suggestive material and may not be appropriate for some situations. Please take caution before proceeding to watch. Let's talk about sex, actually fellatio to be exact. The act of orally pleasing the male reproductive organ. Whether you are a dashing gay lad eager to please his male sweetheart, or whether you are a dedicated female passionate love giver, the act of fellatio comes with certain risks one ought to keep in mind. One of such risks is that of choking and possibly even vomiting. Now there are many ways to deal with such issues. Here we will focus specifically on the angle of approach. The direction one takes while stimulating the object of love is important. Both too steep and too shallow can result in uncomfortable mouth-to-member experience. To solve this issue with mathematics, we must first determine the shape of the male instrument. We can do this by estimating the function that matches the given phallus, plotting it on the Cartesian plane, of course. What curvature does the given sausage hold at full capacity? With this established, we can then determine the precise angle by solving for the tangent of the function, which can be determined by taking the desired point and some other point of the function of the phallus. Then we reduce the distance between those by using this simple equation. And by doing this, we solve the slope or the angle of any point along the shaft. This is also known as taking the derivative. We now know the safest angle of engulfment at any point of the process. Knowing the derivative of your lover's pipe definitely allows for a delightful experience. Determining the angle of approach isn't the only situation we might encounter that requires our knowledge of math. A successful act of fellatio can result in the expulsion of certain fluids. These creamy love liquids can cover an entire area of our delicious act. From the furthest point that the mouth can reach to the very tip of the shaft, we can have a region where those fluids run the risk of dripping. Let's call this the danger zone. This also can come in handy when we are talking about vomit, which can occur when someone doesn't know how to do basic derivatives while performing fellatio. In order to calculate this area, we can use integration. By setting the point of the most reach as the lower limit to the tip as the upper limit, we can confidently ascertain the area of the danger zone. By avoiding this area, we avoid the risk of contamination, especially when it comes to sensitive equipment. Having understood some of the math behind the risks involved in this act of pleasure allows you and your partner to safely proceed with oral lovemaking. There are of course situations that can include more than one instrument of desire. In such cases, we might have to resort to multivariable calculus. This however is beyond the scope of this simple video. I do hope you had a fun time watching it, and I also hope I managed to share something educational and useful. Most of my videos aren't this explicit, but do give them a chance if you haven't seen any yet. If you think I should make more, well, then you know what to do. And thanks for watching.